Hi there, my name is Chrissy. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to finally start Star Wars The Clone Wars. So Clone Wars has been around for a long time and with the ending of uh, Season 2 of Mandalorian coming up I still wanted to carry on a Star Wars themed show and with all the everything that's going on in the Mandalorian at the moment I think it's time that I started to actually learn a little bit more about the deeper lore of Star Wars and what better way to do that than to watch Clone Wars now I have seen one episode of Clone Wars season one episode one probably a couple of years ago uh, I was completely lost on it it had the only thing I can really remember about it was it had Yoda in it and a group of um, clone clones, a group of clones, and there was a chick, Sith, and her name starts with V. I can't Ventress or something like that. That's 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 about as much as I can remember from that one episode that I have seen. So before starting this reaction series which will probably go on for quite a while there are 133 I think 133 or 134 episodes I had heard that the show is somewhat out of order continuity wise so I looked it up and apparently there is a list of which episodes to go by to uh, try and go with continuity as best as possible so I had two choices to go into this uh, series doing season by season, episode by episode, as it is on the Disney app, or go by the list that I found on the StarWars.com of you know basically which episodes to watch in which order to keep um, the continuity flow, and that is ultimately what I decided to do. So these are going to be great because these episodes aren't very long, and I think I'll be t going into them more as a uh, edu educational thing just like filling in a lot of gaps and, and 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 possibly learning you know what a few things that I never knew um, just in the last few episodes of the Mandalorian I have been schooled a lot uh, and it's great and I, and I want to know more so we're going to get straight into this it's the first episode on the list from StarWars.com but we're going to get straight into it and Let's go to school. An impenetrable defense. Separatist ships blockade the resource-rich planet of Christophsis. Trapping Senator Bail Organa and us getting... break the impasse. Anakin straight away. But time runs short for the Senator and the good citizens of Christophsis. Chris, this planet I've never heard of before. Separatist forces have overrun our position. Bail Organa I do know. Out of food, water and munitions. Our situation is desperate. Senator Organa? General, another cruiser's been hit. Hey! You know, we better get here soon. But this is gonna be one short rescue mission. I'm not too knowledgeable on this the whole separatist thing. I do remember them from the uh, Star Wars The Fire Old Republic game. Cannons. Um, Cut off those Republic supply ships. On Separate them from their Lord Mantel. You had to fight separatists there. I smell fear. And it smells good. That's a mandible face. General, a Republic cruiser is coming out of hyperspace behind us. Obi Wan. Obi Wan? Looks like General Skywalker has already engaged the enemy. That's nothing out of the ordinary, especially Who's since that? I gave him a direct order not to. Anakin, I want you to withdraw. Withdraw? I brought a new toy that might give us an advantage. Tell the transports to fall wow. back to Obi-Wan's okay. position. I don't like this. I hope Obi-Wan knows what he's doing. Honestly, I didn't think Anakin would listen. I feel bad because I have preconceived notions about Anakin already. Our orders are to blockade, not chase. I have won this round, and the enemy will soon return. And when they do, we shall be. Oh, that's creepy. I don't like that. 
Huh. I didn't think they opened like that. I don't know why I didn't think that. Tell me about this new weapon. You're looking at it. I'm looking at what? Two steps forward and you'd actually be kissing it. Huh. Okay. It's a stealth ship. Nice. Let's hope the Sephathis thing. Anakin's so. got a hell of a chun so on I him, doesn't he? Scanners can't got a buck this clip. is the first real field <laughs> test. That's all. This is the prototype, and you won't be on the offensive. I need you to run a mercy mission down to the planet's surface. Oh, I'm still the delivery boy? We don't need the whole fleet. I can do this myself. Anakin, Copy. slow down and do what I tell you. I need you to continue the mercy mission. Hmm. Is he going to disobey? Impossible. It can't be him. Something about this morning's engagement struck me as familiar. So I, I did a bit of research. He has history with him. I believe the opposing commander is none other than Admiral Trench. Wasn't he vaporized at the Battle of Malastare and Arrows? That's what I thought too. Malastare. The efficiency of the droid's maneuvers. Narrows. And then there's this. The last time I saw that symbol, well, let's just say I lost a lot of good men that day. He tore our ships apart. We barely escaped with our lives. In the end, the Jedi-led task force moved in to settle the matter. Trench's ship was destroyed, and we assumed he went down with it. Mm. You know I'm what they sure say about assumptions. It's possible. Not every captain goes down with his ship. Well, we may be in luck then, Admiral. My orders are not to engage Trench, just to deliver supplies to Senator Organa. With all due respect, General, I do not believe we will have a choice in the matter. I'm volunteering my services as consultant, General. Welcome aboard. CT-1284, Spark reporting for duty, sir. Spark. We lost one of our starting lineup, kid. You ready to step up and take his place? You'll be sitting right across from me, where I can keep an eye on you until you're up to speed. Everyone's on board. We okay, are so those two are clones, Dispatch, right? Dispatch, we are powering up and... Cool. Does Anakin always look so angry? Doesn't look like they can detect us. Yes, but if you get any closer, they may not need scanners to know we're here. Relax, Admiral. Hey, you wanted to come on this ride. We need to add some pressure on those who are sent to rescue our enemies on Christmas. Enemies. I like I like how he um, pronounces things. <laughs> Send the hyena bombers to hit Senator Organa on the surface. Wow. I've never seen those before. The, the hyena bombers? What's our defensive capability? We've got torpedoes and anti-aircraft cannons, sir. But we'd have to decloak to use either. Yeah, and if they don't know we're here, that would give our position away pretty quickly. What do you do? They're gonna crash straight into you. Stay cloaked. Power everything else down. Let her drift. Hmm. Two thousand. They're going to hit us! Five hundred! Oh shit! Lucky. They missed us. They don't know we're here. Sir, we have incoming bombers. Oh! Get me, General Kenobi. We can't hold out any longer. There's little chance for survival. Help us, General Kenobi. You are only no way. Get me, Anakin. That Anakin, is nice. I've just spoken to the senator. They're in dire need of our help. General Kenobi, with all due respect, you do not have the resources to engage Trench openly. He wants you to attack. You'll be walking into a trap. He's right, Master. Anakin, I've got enough problems without you becoming one of them. Get those effect. supplies to the refugee camp. The and... tactic won't work. Prep torpedo tubes one through four. Fix range on Trench's command ship. Oh, Sir, boy. You heard me, Admiral. I want those supplies on the surface now. Don't worry, I'm on it. Mm. It's hard because I mean it could turn out, but you're disobeying direct orders. 
prepared to decloak on my command. Prep torpedo tubes one through four. Fix range on trenches command ship. I thought we were on a relief mission. Yeah. You learn pretty quick that when you serve under General Skywalker, you're always on the offensive. Now get ready to cycle those shields. You realize our torpedoes may not be enough. All I want is for Trench to think about us instead of the people on the planet below. It's time to introduce ourselves. Ready torpedoes. Lock on to primary target. Are they gonna get are they gonna get right up into this a space? Device. Yeah. Fire. Torpedoes locked and closed. Oh, I was gonna say you missed. Foolish Republic scum! Prepare to fire all cannons! So dramatic. Fire! Six, five, launch flares, and cloak. Weaver. Fire a spread of lasers. Incoming! I see it. See that, that cocky little side eye glance? Scans are coming up negative. We missed. Yes. No clone could successfully fly through that many lasers. We are dealing with a Jedi. Clever. Patch me into the comm channel. Open frequency. What you got, Spark? There's an open communication signal coming from the enemy. Better tell the general. General, there's a transmission on the open frequency. It's the enemy. Hello, ugly. <laughs> I am Admiral Trent. You can talk with those thick ass eyebrows, if mate. You are listening. It's been so long since I had a worthy opponent. You have an impressive new vessel. I have dealt with its kind before. The people of Christopsis and her resources. Shall join the Separatist Alliance. Retreat while you can, for I am your doom. Oh, you gotta love that. He's dead meat, but you gotta love that. How? A stealth ship could have passed our blockade easily. This Jedi yes. chose to attack. They used tracking torpedoes to hit the ship somehow, whether it was cloaked or not. Well, no ship this small usually has a cloaking device. Maybe he's tracking the magnetic signature. Might I remind you that this was not your mission? You might. Admiral, prepare to disengage cloaking device and fire. I don't know. Battle stations. There she is. Recloaking in five. Lock us onto that ship. They are using the magnetic. Clever Anakin. And fire on my command. But, sir, uh, we cannot fire unless we lower our shields. Lower shields ah. and fire! Lowering shields. They are turning around. General, the cloaking device is active. Get a boost of speed. Right for Before us. they can put their shields and back up. Raise the shields. We cannot. They're not going to ram him, are they? Charging. Oh, he's got the torpedoes following him. Yep. Clever. Go clap. I hate to admit it, but good job, Anakin. We're beginning our attack on the Separatist fleet. Have fun. I'll be delivering the supplies to the surface, Master. You cheeky wanker, he thinks. General Skywalker, I have no idea how you did it, but you saved a great many lives today. I must admit, I am a bit surprised at the reckless nature of your tactics. Very Though reckless. I cannot argue with our results. No, you cannot. Well, you'll find I like to do things uh, differently from time to time. Indeed. The Chancellor mentioned as much, though he insisted it was the highest compliment.
Oh, finally they do. <laughs> oh, that's it. Wow. So these episodes are, are pretty short. Okay. Well then, that is our first episode of uh, Clone Wars. Is this... It seemed, the, the, the episodes seem pretty self-contained. Um, so what did we learn today? Well, there are a few things that I did want to actually look up. Because... So we had a planet, Christophsis. I've never heard of that planet before. So that's, that's new to me. And this alien, Admiral Trench. What is he? I smell fear and it smells good. He is a harch. I have never heard of a harch before. Secundus Ando is their home planet. Again, I have never heard of that before. Um, lesson number three. Malastare Narrows. Um, Malastare Narrows was a battle that took place before the Clone Wars. A corporate fleet led by Admiral Trench had blockaded the planet Malastare. A galactic republic force with which Wolf Yolorin was serving as an officer, attacked Trench's fleet at Malastair Narrows, but was defeated, losing most of its strength. Eventually, the matter was resolved when a task force, led by the Jedi Master Kip Shay, moved in, never heard of that name before, defeating Trench and vaporising his flagship. Trench was presumed dead after the battle, but he was discovered to have survived during the Clone Wars, reappearing to command separatist forces at the Battle of Christophsis, which we have just watched. Okay, learned a, new, a few new things there. So a couple of questions. The, 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 my, my main question actually is to do with the clones. Now I saw uh, there are a couple of clones on Anakin's ship there and it looked like there were some with um, Obi-Wan how do I how do I tell which ones are the clones when they have their helmets on and are they all voiced by the same person because it would you know it makes sense that all the clones have the same voice right I was trying to differentiate the voice between spark and the dude that was training him um, it sounded similar but yeah does the same guy that does he voice all the clones and Again, are they still making these clones? How many were made? And are they able to make babies? I don't know. Is that a weird question? <laughs> the other thing I wanted to mention was Anakin. Now, everyone knows the story of Anakin, uh, thanks to the uh, movies, uh, the heat, you know, how he ended up. And it's going to be hard for me to look at Anakin and not see where he ends up, which I'm worried will take me out of, uh, you know, his character. Because no matter what good or bad he does during the se se series, during the series, and here I'm going to know, yeah, but if only you knew the absolutely awful things that you're going to do. Um, but yeah, he's still he's still a little cocky. He still uh, can't well just chooses on his own when to follow orders or not. Even though I mean it worked out, and I'm sure it, it'll work out often um, for him when he decides to not obey orders. But you know, again, we all know what happens to him. So, well, we're going to leave it there then. Um, that was the first episode of uh, our little foray into Clone Wars. This this will probably be more like a teaching kind of thing. At the end of each episode, we'll go through and just have a quick tab over what I learned during that episode, what um, maybe new planets that I've never heard of or uh, people I've never heard of, 
which will be plenty, uh, or aliens that I've never seen, which I've already seen one. So if you if you want to follow along with me, feel, please feel free to do so. Um, like, comment, and subscribe. And maybe you can take me to school as well and, you know, uh, elaborate on some of the things that we've seen without spoiling anything, of course. And let's just have some fun watching some good old classic Star Wars goodness. We'll see you next time for more Clone Wars. Bye.